All of our mini minis come with an inflatable bottom and you want to make sure that you inflate that before you inflate the rings because it's just easier to access. You can use any standard air pump or even your mouth to inflate it. And after you inflate the bottom, then you inflate the rings. Hey Mini Dipper, I'm Emily, the creator and designer of Mini Dip, and I'm going to show you today how to set up your new Mini Dip to get your pool party started right away. You can actually do this with any standard air pump or even a hair dryer, and I'm going to show you how. All Mini Dip pools feature these awesome double air valves. For three ring pools, there's one on each ring. The best part is that they allow for quick inflate and deflate. They might seem a little tricky if you haven't seen them before, but I'm going to show you how they work. You're always going to start with the bottom ring and work your way up. So first, locate the bottom valve. The double valve has an open port that allows air in and out quickly. Then a one-way air port that only allows air in but not out. That'll allow you to add more air in the end and get it nice and full. And then the flap that's going to close it when you tuck it in. Now you can use any standard air pump to inflate. Just never use an air compressor because you don't want to overinflate. On your air pump, there's a number of attachments. You can use any of them that fit, or I personally choose to use it without them because I think it has optimal airflow and inflates quicker. And then pinch it shut, and you're gonna add more air through the one-way port. And you're gonna fill it up as much as you can through this one-way port, and then repeat on the next two rings. Don't have an air pump? No problem. You can even use a hair dryer. First, to use a hair dryer, you have to make sure it has a cold button. You're gonna hold that down the entire time you're using it to inflate your mini dip. And you wanna make sure that your hand can be in front of it and be cool to the touch. You never wanna use warm air. Then you're gonna use your hand to direct the airflow by cupping it between the port and the hair dryer. But never touch the hair dryer to the valve or to the vinyl. And once you get air into all of the rings, you're actually gonna add more using your breath, blowing through these one-way ports to help you get that nice round full look. While you're blowing through these, you're gonna make sure to stretch so that you get air into the creases. And that's gonna help it from going and looking like this to this. Next, just add water. And you're ready to go mini dipping. But wait, there's more. The most important thing with these valves is to make sure that there's absolutely no gap because air can slowly leak out over time if so, especially on your top ring once water is filled because water pressure can pull it loose. So if the top ring of your pool loses air after it's filled with water, this is the first thing to check. When draining your mini dip, make sure to pull the plug carefully to avoid tearing it under the weight of the water. Never use chlorine or chemicals to clean your mini dip because they can deteriorate the printed designs and vinyl. Always store your mini dip out of direct sunlight and in room temp conditions to avoid the vinyl being affected by temperature shock. This means not in a cold garage all winter long. <laughs> <laughs>